Hello everyone, I am Troy and today we're going to talk a little bit about malware and more specifically how you get malware, how you get rid of it and what it does and most importantly for most of the people watching this probably how it can affect design space and performance of your computer. So what is malware? Think of malware as basically a virus. It's something that's on your computer that should not be there and it causes performance issues, it, it, it keeps you from getting the experience that you would expect out of your computer. Um, it may cause ads to pop up on your computer or in your browser. A lot of times you'll see ads in a browser that kind of slide in from the side or down from the top and you can't get rid of them. There's no adjustments, no close, or maybe you, do, you can get rid of them but then they come right back, things like that. And a lot of times those are, or most of the time, those are malware uh, remnants that uh, get embedded in your computer. And sometimes malware is fairly easy to get rid of, but sometimes you can get what's called a root kit installed on your computer, and they are a pain. And so these things uh, can cause a lot of heartache with a lot of computers and a lot of programs. And believe it or not, sometimes you can even have them, and then they cause small nuisances and don't really mess with your computer too bad, but they're doing a lot more damage than what you think they are because they can be trying to steal your information as well. So uh, I remember one of the problems recently, a few weeks ago, with the Cricut plugin. Some people were getting an XML error when they were trying to install it. And a fix for that was that Cricut issued a warning that you, sh you probably have malware on your computer if you got that error. And the fix to it was to actually go into Control Panel and go to Internet Options and then go to connections and LAN settings and there was a proxy setting that was turned on and it had some numbers and an address in there. And what that does is when you're using a proxy it does things for you. So when you're browsing the internet your traffic was going to a third party service and then going on to its destination. And that's why it was cre creating that communication error with Cricut at the time. So um, what happens is that malware is gets on your computer and it's there for the purposes of stealing information. So logins, passwords, credit card information, anything that you're sending back and forth on the internet was going through a third party service rather than going directly to its source and uh, or its destination rather. So if you had that problem and you turned off the proxy and was able to get the Cricut plugin installed and that proxy setting keeps turning itself back on, you have malware and you have a problem with your computer that you need to get taken care of. So I'll show you those settings again at the end of this video. So um, I recommend everyone just go look at this setting and make sure it's not uh, turned on because if it is, you have a problem and you could have uh, a lot of, uh, you know, maybe even identity theft or, or something happened to you as a result of that because like I said your traffic is going through a third party service on the internet. So how did you get malware? Well you installed it on your computer. Well maybe not you but you know maybe your child, your spouse, your sister, your brother, whoever used your computer someone has clicked on something or downloaded something and allowed that malware to get on your computer. And back in the early days of Windows XP 10, 12, 13 years ago, Microsoft and Internet Explorer took a lot of knocks for not being a very secure browser and operating system. And it was what it was really doing was it just made it real easy for someone to click a pop-up and it installed software onto your computer. It wasn't that the browser was necessarily unsecure, it was that it made the user, it allowed them to easily be less secure. So. Today, when you t hear people say things like, oh, I use Firefox because it's more secure or whatever, you know, that's not really the case. Every computer is only as secure as the person that's using it. The person that's behind the keyboard and the mouse is the one that's in control of what gets put on that computer. Um, some people have reported getting uh, viruses and malware from SVG files and fonts by downloading free things off the internet. And that's kind of true, not really, but um, you need to be aware of what you're downloading. A virus or malware cannot be attached to an SVG file or a 
uh, PNG or JPEG file or a font file. However, some websites require you to download special downloaders or special viewers to see these files and if they do that then you are probably downloading and installing malware. So uh, when you download SVG files make sure when it if it's not coming down as an SVG file extension those last three characters on the end of the file uh, sometimes they might come down as a zip file and you'll have to extract them or unzip them and within that file should be the SVG files or the fonts or whatever. They may be in subfolders under that after you extract it, but uh, you shouldn't have anything like an executable or anything like that that you have to run and install to access those files. If you do, there's a good chance you're installing malware or viruses. So just be careful of those kind of things. So how do you get rid of malware? Well, the there's unfortunately there's no magic silver bullet for this stuff. Uh, you know, viruses. There are um, you know tons of different antivirus software programs on the market. Uh, the ones that I recommend are uh, AVG, Kaspersky, or uh, Trend Micro. Uh, I've used Trend Micro for you know 15 years, and uh, the last several years I've used AVG as well, and they are both. As, long, as well as Kaspersky, they are kind of what we call lightweight applications, meaning they don't interfere with your computer a lot, and they don't mess with your other applications a lot, and don't give you a lot of heartache by just being there on your computer. Make sure that any antivirus program you have installed does not do scheduled scans. So a lot of them, when you install them, they say, every Friday at noon, I'm going to scan your computer for viruses. You don't need that. Let it scan once when you install it or force a full system scan. But then after that, just let it stay idle in your system tray and scan real time. Once your system's clean, it should be protecting all the time. And if it's doing a full system scan, it is running your hard drive ragged and dragging your system performance down real slow. And you're going to experience slowdowns and delays when those things happen. So no to the scheduled scans, yes to a full scan after you install it, and then let it run real-time protection. Now as far as uh, the malware goes, uh, malware bytes. you can download that from Malwarebytes.org. I'm going to put all the links down into this video description below uh, this video as well. Uh, to the AVG antivirus and, and things and so malware bytes is a great one I mean, it's kind of the gold standard right now for cleaning most malware off your computer you can download the free version install it let it scan your entire system and clean it I've had people tell me they've cleaned as many as three and four hundred close to I think the top number I've seen so far is 478 malware items that it cleaned off of someone's computer and they had no idea they had those problems so um, you know, again, I, I really recommend that one. And then if it does not remove what you know to be malware, try ADW Cleaner. And again, I'll put that link down below. And uh, uh, see if it let it scan your system and see if it finds anything as well. What I don't recommend is don't leave multiple antivirus and mul multiple malware programs running in your system tray all the time. So I've, I've you know, looked at some systems and they'll have... Malware bytes, ADW, C Cleaner, AVG, and McAfee virus scan because it gets installed, unfortunately, with Flash. Uh, you know, if you don't uncheck the little box and, and things like that, so they end up with their system being dragged down really slow because they have so many protections on their system. So uh, get your system clean, strip out all the malware, get a good antivirus software like AVG, and you can use the free version. Uh, you just need to watch with the free version of some of these programs that they don't, in, you know, they'll pop periodically ask you to install other programs from that same vendor, and I don't recommend that, so make sure you don't unselect those things. But, um, you know, get it clean, get your antivirus real-time protection on there, be very aware of what you're clicking on, the website you're on, and all those kind of things. Again, if it gets on your system, it's because a user put it there. It didn't get there by itself. I've had people tell me, uh, you know, I didn't install anything. I didn't click anything. I didn't do anything, yet it's there. How did it get on my system? And I'm the only one that uses this computer. Well, they they did something to put it there. They had to. There's no other way around it. So um, I'll show you that... Uh, 
proxy setting right now in your internet connections uh, settings and uh, hopefully this video will be helpful to some of you and help you get some of your systems cleaned up uh, this proxy setting is, is a really bad one I'm telling you if it's turned on you gotta figure out what's causing that and get rid of it a lot of times uh, I've seen some default home pages so when you open Internet Explorer or Chrome or whatever loads up to a particular website and when it hits that website it turns that proxy setting back on as well so if you got anything weird going on like that you need to check that out because not only can it steal your information it may be causing a lot of performance problems with the design space as well because you're not getting a direct connection to their servers when you access it through a proxy you're going to a third party server and then going there it's kind of like a uh, you know calling a person and then having them call someone else for you and relaying the information back and forth there's a lot of delay and, and performance issues with that I have a feeling that some people who are experiencing these shockwave flash errors are probably experiencing some malware issues but uh, that's yet to be seen uh, I think there's about about uh, 20 or 30 percent of the people that I've tried to help with those issues that I have been able to quite resolve yet but uh, still working on that so I'll show you how to check this internet settings uh, internet connection settings for the proxy right now and uh, uh, you will see if it, if it helps you any of you out to check your system to see if you have proxy settings turned to one which could be malware click on your start button and go to control panel of course this is Windows 7 and Windows 8 you would right click on your start button and go to control panel and then open internet options click on the connections tab and then click on LAN settings this setting that says proxy server should be unchecked and this should be blank if this is checked and there are numbers in here or a name this is a problem and you likely have malware on your computer now some businesses do use proxy servers so if you're at work or you're using a work computer this may not be the case but if you're on a home computer this box should be turned off this is not the only type of malware that you can have but if you're just a regular home computer user and this is turned on you most likely have malware and you really need to get that taken care of if you're interested in my support services or consulting services, please visit my website at www.troyyoung.com for most current pricing information. Additionally, you can go to patreon.com slash troyyoung to help support my channel. Hopefully my video has been helpful to you. If it has been, please subscribe to my channel and by all means, please share my videos.